Yes. Oh, I knew you would be out tonight. Excellent. Wonderful. We'll party later. Oh, any of you ladies Brad Pitt fans? Yeah. Yeah. How about any of the men? Uh, yeah, all right, we got one right here. Guy just came out of the closet, people. Give him a round of applause. Good for you, sir. Uh, don't worry, Brad, he's my secret little fantasy man, too. Not so much a secret now that I've told y'all. But what I wonder is, do you think Jennifer Aniston ever secretly fantasized about my husband? Ooh, Ooh that's Scott. Now, he's a real man. Anybody upset they broke up? You're like, no, screw them, they're rich, they're famous, we could care less about their heartache. <sighs> I'm upset they broke up, because I was hoping they'd want to swing. <laughs> and that Angelina Jolie, she kind of scares me, because I'm pretty sure she's swang, swung, and done a whole lot of other things I've never done. <laughs> yeah. But I am happy to report that somehow this year I've managed to be married for 16 years. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Old school style people in a row. <laughs> I'm from California. Next year, I'm up for a medal. Oh, and some of my friends are like, good God, Laura, are you still on your first husband? Haven't you traded up yet? <laughs> and I'll tell you why I haven't. Because the original model is completely paid for. <laughs> and still getting excellent mileage. Yeah. However, I'd like to make a few upgrades. A little less back hair would be nice. That stuff was not there when I married him. I think what's happening is it's sliding off the top and just sprouting out the back. Yeah, but if you've been married a long time, anyone here married a long time? Yeah, how long? 18 years, that counts. Uh, yeah, 18 years, things change, don't they? A little bit, yeah. Things change, people. Mostly sex. <laughs> sex changes, not sex changes. You have to be careful where you put the emphasis. <laughs> Completely different meaning. But sex changes. I miss the young love, the bunny phase, kind of like where you two people are at. Uh, <laughs> we're just making macaroni or in cheese or chocolate souffle for this group over here, whatever. <laughs> and you look over each other, and next thing you know, you're on the kitchen table, ripping off each other's clothes, smacking each other with a spatula. <laughs> Some of you people have been there. I was on the kitchen table last weekend with a spatula. I was. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but there's a killer spider way up in the corner. <laughs> I looked hot doing it in my fuzzy slippers, though. Yeah, now I get really excited when I look over at my husband, and he's in his underwear and he's folding laundry. <sighs> Ooh, it gets me every time. But like many comedians, I have to tell you people, my God-given talent is self-deprecation. I said self-deprecation, not self-defecation. I'm not even gonna go there. Self-deprecation, I belittle, I undervalue myself. And women in general, we are much better at this than men. I need a little amen, ladies. Thank you, because men, you can be a big old fat, bald, Buddha belly at the beach, the river, the lake, the jacuzzi, I don't care where, and a little leopard print speedo. <laughs> Some of you have seen him. <laughs> and you see a cute little thing in a bikini walk by, and what do you men think? Mmm, she wants me. <laughs> so you let out some sort of cat call. Eh, hey, mamacita. Because in general, we love that. <laughs> and when she doesn't respond, men, what do you think? <laughs> Lesbian yet? Not yet. First you think she didn't hear me. <laughs> so you do it again. Eh, hey, mamacita! <sighs> or hey, blondie, blondie, drop the laundry. That's my personal favorite. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but it rhymes. <laughs> so it's funny. <laughs> but that time when she doesn't respond, men, what do you think? Lesbian, thank you. Bitch, snob, that's right. <sighs> Couldn't simply be that you're disgusting. <laughs> that's not it, I'm fabulous. Ooh. But you know what's really disgusting? Most disgusting thing ever? Old men's balls. <laughs> Apparently you people are on board with me on that one. 
I have to tell you, three times the last month, I have been in the wrong place <laughs> at the wrong time. I was at the gym, I was minding my own business, and I look over this old dude riding a bicycle. <laughs> you know what's sitting on the seat with him? <laughs> oh yeah, that thing looked like a tether ball that had been left out in the rain. <laughs> too long. This man had an 800 watt fan blowing on him. You think he'd feel something. <gasps> Chafing, rug burn, the stick I was using to try to push it back in, but no. I can tell you right now, 80, 90, 110 years old, if I have a boob hanging out of my blouse, even if it's at my waistline, I'm gonna know. What do you mean lose kinesthetic proprioceptive sense as you age? because I've never seen a young man walking around with testicles hanging out of his shorts. I know, because I've looked. <laughs> but the whole world is crazy, people. We're all just insane, completely nuts, just whacked. Anyone here that doesn't think they're crazy, well, not only are you crazy, you're also delusional. You've just spent time with people who are crazy like you, so you think you're normal. <laughs> But you spend any quality time with somebody outside your group and then the crazy just starts to seep on out of them. And I can prove it, there's examples everywhere. I work with a girl that every morning she spends $5 on a cup of coffee, yet she can't afford to pay her rent. <laughs> the people who jam the rear window of the car full of stuffed animals, crazy. <laughs> Would you run out of room on your bed? <laughs> Are you a four? <gasps> People who throw birthday parties for their pets. Crazy. Fluffy does not know that she's three today. Oh, and the fact that we spend more money in this country on breast augmentation and Viagra than on Alzheimer's research is crazy. That just means later in life there's gonna be a whole bunch of geezers running around with very perky body parts, but no memory of what to do with them. You people are great. My name's Laura Hayden.